My husband came home the other day. He was disgruntled by something Mr. Waddington had said. The men were complaining about the trail. It's going through our land. It's taking up nature. It's something we don't agree with. And so they told this to the workers and Mr. Waddington threatened them and said that if they continued with their anger, they would not get paid. These threats were, were horrible. And yet, he bought them brandy at the end of it, and my husband came home drunk. The whites have brought so many terrible things to our country, to our land. My name is Peter Peterson. I worked at Brute Inlet last summer with Mr. Waddington's party. I was lying in a tent by myself when at daybreak I heard two shots fired. I started up and rushed out of the tent. I saw two Indians firing into the tent next to me. One of them, upon seeing me, rushed up and aimed a blow with the butt end of his musket. I succeeded in warding off the blow and jumped away when another Indian came up with a large axe and struck at me with both hands. I jumped to one side and the axe fell to the ground. I then ran to the bank of the river and got behind a tree to hide myself. As I saw the Indian who first struck at me coming up with a musket to shoot, the Indian waited for two minutes for a chance to shoot and was gradually getting closer to me. At last, he fired and shot me in the left arm, the ball passing through my left wrist. I jumped into the stream. They, the Chilcotins, have be it observed a very special horror of having their names written down. They look upon paper as a very awful thing. They tremble to see the working of the pen. Writing is, they imagined, a dread mystery. But it, the might white seem to carry on intercourse with unseen powers. who were attacked on the Brute Inlet Trail on April 30th at about daybreak. I was awakened by two Indians coming to the door of the tent. They did not enter but raised it up and whooped at the same time. Each of them fired on either side of me. I was lying in the center. They then let the tent down. The ridge pole fell on top of me and the tent covered all three of us. While lying in this position, I saw knives on each side of me come through the tent and pierce the bodies of my two companions. I could see through the side of the tent, observing Indians going to the other tents, and I jumped and plunged into the river, which was about two steps from me. I could not identify who those Indians were, but they were dressed something like the Indians were, who were with us. One had red blankets, made like leggings, which I had noticed. 